What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to try out the Call of Duty campaign, Black Ops 6. I hope it's better than the zombies. Multiplayer is pretty good, zombies isn't so good. Let's hope this campaign's good. I've heard good things. You know we're doing it on the hardest difficulty. This ain't even hard for you. Desert Storm? Was that like the uh, Osama stuff? I don't really know. It was after Vietnam, I think. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with this time period that we're in in this game. So hopefully the campaign tells us more about that. We have discussed what it all. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you can... I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team. Me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Lowry is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No. Not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. <coughs> He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground, target confirmed. Waiting on your go, over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging and out. Here comes the traffic jam.
middle of the road. Wait. Okay, take the door. That didn't scare me. I got it. Oh. Stay calm. We're not here to hurt you. CIA? We had a deal? Deal? I never already heard of Where you headed? Corrado, you lie! Your man was getting hey, in the house! Who exactly? Is that us? No, not Iraqi either. Pantheon. Pantheon? We need to leave. You won't stand a chance against them. They haven't spotted us. Let's keep it that way. Come on. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. Made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm that... aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got <clears throat> complicated. Pantheon is composed of former European and U.S. operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exit, Phil. We call in reinforcements and wait. Wait? What the hell with that? Farage, come in. We're headed your way. No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Okay, so let's start by softening them up. If I give that man a gun, he kind of just got blood on his face and stuff. Let's get to work, Case. This is the worst RCSP there ever was. That's it handles it. terribly. Let's punch through it. No, they can't. This is the hardest difficulty. They ain't want nothing. Smart man. Okay, so let's start by softening them up. Let's get to work, Cash. That's our opening.
game's getting harder by the second. I was worried this was going to be too easy. about not slowing us down. We're open targets down here. And they'll pick us apart. Yep. There's no cover in here, dude. let them take me! New project. You can ease up, sir. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high-value target in cold blood. And put our national security at risk. Palawi can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him the bishop takes Brooke. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck. Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama. The man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means?
No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over, Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office at five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. I can't believe you kept him. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? Me and the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savati Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you, putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to want and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute.
Alright, so that's... This game started off a lot slower than most of the Call of Duties, I feel like. I'm gonna end it up there. Hopefully it gets better.